the wind all at the same time. Now as the the wind is going to hit, hit in each and every one of these uh, um, wing props at the same time, that is going to give us our lift, which is going to essentially lift the helicopter off the ground. So built into this spot right here, and we'll show some other pictures later on, is an anti-droop inhibitor. Now essentially what that is, is most wings have a tendency to, to want to droop, you know, uh, like this. And so what we have done is we've realized that we can adjust the how the wing prop can be adjusted by having it stationary here and having it go through a hex tower here. So as as the the wing uh, spar is going through the hex tower, we can adjust the uh, prop wing either up or down or in or out simply by um, the adjustment which is going to be right here. Now, our goal is to get this prop to be accelerated to approximately 100 miles per hour according to our calculations. Now, when it reaches the right RPM, okay, the pilot will engage all eight of the prop wings at the same time with a collective just like you would have on a hel helicopter. And as he does this, it will uh, turn the prop approximately 10 degrees. The angle of attack will be uh, initially 10 degrees. And then once the, um, the craft gets up in the air and it has overcome the, uh, the lift of the, the ground effects uh, effect of the uh, lift, the, um, the main prop is going to be, uh, after the initial lift, is going to be reduced to about 8 degrees to keep the uh, rotor RPM up as, as high as possible. Now, we'll continue with discussing this uh, about the articulate rotor design in just a moment in our next video.